For the average website, 97 to 98% of site traffic is made up of anonymous users or people who have never given you their email address. Now these could be first time visitors to your site or even returning visitors who are still not part of your CRM. But while you might think that only 2% of your audience is identifiable, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know nothing about the remaining 98% or that you can't get more personal with them. So let's talk about how you can do that using behavioral, contextual, and third-party data. Behavioral data refers to browsing behavior, search queries, click patterns, and other user activity. Basically, it's information that you can use to distill larger trends across your site and for in-the-moment optimization. Here's an example. A popular home decor retailer uses a guided product discovery quiz to get direct feedback from visitors about their needs and interests. Information collected about the type of room they want to furnish, their preferred color scheme, and more is then used to tailor in-the-moment experiences. Novel, right? Ask, and they shall receive a streamlined shopping experience. Behavioral data can also be used to trigger product recommendations when anonymous users add items to their cart, like within a pop-up modal on an e-commerce site. Or they could even personalize the drive through menu or ordering kiosk in a quick service restaurant. For example, if a drive through customer orders a cheeseburger, they might see complimentary products like a soft drink or a side of fries recommended as suggestive add-ons. And in instances where a customer might order a vegetarian breakfast sandwich, plant-based options can be shown over meat-based options, even if the meat-based options are more popular. Next, anonymous personalization based on contextual data. Contextual data refers to the surrounding circumstances and preferences that influence user interaction. Things like location, time of day, the device type, the current weather condition, and the site traffic source, which can include referring domain, and so on. Anonymous personalization with contextual data includes examples like matching a landing page's messaging to that of the referring domain to ensure continuity, or to the current weather conditions extrapolated from a user's location. For example, one of England's largest football clubs uses weather-specific product recommendations in its online store, anticipating patterns of demand and tapping into the moods, the needs, and the purchase intentions of its visitors, including those that might be anonymous. Or, in another industry, quick service restaurants can use location, weather, and time of day to optimize their digital menu boards, their kiosks, or their drive through displays like this one. Imagine the impact of catering the right recommendations or offer to a sunburned Californian versus that of a bundled up Minnesotan using simple contextual clues. Next, anonymous personalization based on third party data. Companies like Oracle, LiveRAM, and others can provide taxonomy lists of thousands of demographic, psychographic, and behavioral based segments. You can use these valuable data sets to create custom targeting combinations to not only match your business objectives, but help you tailor experiences for first time visitors. And finally, you could use a unique offering like Element. Element allows teams to incorporate MasterCard's aggregated consumer spend insights and proprietary spend prediction models into Dynamic Yields Experience OS for personalization from the very first page visit. So, for example, a consumer electronics retailer could change their home page to highlight a special deal and look locations with high spend on electronics. So there you have it. Behavioral, contextual, third-party data can all be used to bring your anonymous visitors out of the shadows and into the spotlight, providing them a tailored experience that's anything but ordinary. Now, if you like this video, you will love Dynamic Yield's XP Squared newsletter, which covered this exact topic not long ago. You can sign up to receive the newsletter and learn more about anonymous personalization using the links below. I'll catch you next time.